question for you. Do you think spiritual warfare is for real? <laughs> well, wait till you hear my next guest who does think so, and she's going to tell you how to win. Stay tuned. My next guest is a woman of prayer, and she is also the founder of The Well Ministries for creatives. She has a conference and she also has a publishing company called The Well. She is also a busy author, a busy speaker, and her new book is Essential Keys to Marriage Success. Kathy, I'm so glad to have you today. Thank you. And thank you for having me. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, prayer. Yes. And you know, one of the things I was wondering about, you say that you believe in spiritual warfare? Absolutely. When God is working on something through a person, the evil one does not want it to happen and will do everything in his power to make it not happen. So Kathy, can you give me an example of a spiritual warfare situation in your life? I was trying to get prayer leaders together for a denominational conference going on so that we could have a prayer tent where we could have teams come in and pray for all the delegates. So I got to know all of these prayer leaders and I thought, wouldn't it be great to gather them all together on maybe a monthly basis just to pray for our communities, our churches, and everything. Because we've seen so many great things happen through prayer. So I set a date up and sent the invites out. And there were like 25 people coming, prayer leaders, including one of the high-ranking prayer leaders of the denomination. So I got everything set at my church and ready to roll. And a couple of people started coming in and then I heard my phone ring and I thought later, but it kept ringing. And I thought, well, I guess I better get this. And it was my husband and he was driving home from work and it was a hot day and someone, a car kids or something took a water balloon and threw it at his windshield, probably not knowing that in the hot heat, it would shatter the windshield. And so all the glass hit him in the face. Oh, no. And of course, it caused an accident. And so he was calling me, telling me what happened. And he needed to go to the hospital. And could I come get him? Oh. Well, absolutely. And so the person who is in charge, who's high level denominational prayer leader, took over. And everyone just played their parts. And there was prayer happening. And so I had to leave and I went and picked up my husband and took him to the hospital and our pastor met us there. And of course he's covered in blood and the pastor says, I'll give you my shirt. And it's like, no, no, we're okay. <laughs> and then we had to go to an eye specialist and it did do damage to his eye. He has a permanent enlarged pupil. And I'm so glad it wasn't worse than that, but people were praying and it was so obvious the timing and everything that Satan was behind it, but he didn't stop us. We continued to meet in future months. That is an example of what can happen when warfare is going on. So yeah. it totally backfired on the enemy, I think. What do you think? I believe that. I think the Holy Spirit jumped in. He had a room full of prayer leaders, and there was angels surrounding all of us, and God was glorified through it. Yes, total backfire. What about for the rest of us? How do we know when the enemy is trying to go, stop? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to move forward. And so this roadblock that you have is not the Lord. And yes, my experience as being director for the Well for Creatives has shown me that many times the enemy will attack. In fact, just before a conference in 2022, we had one of our faculty members pass away. Oh. And we were all shocked. 
And her husband gave a wonderful story about how this all happened. But she went to the hospital. All of a sudden, she just wasn't feeling well. And her husband at the hospital walked down the hall just to walk away. And his buzzer went off to come right back. And by the time he got back, she was gone. But the nurse that was there said, you know, everything seemed fine. And I turned around and all of a sudden she was reaching up to the ceiling and her eyes were glued on the corner of the ceiling. And then she was gone. Oh, Jesus just came and scooped her right out of that hospital room. He did. So back at the conference, I heard so many stories from people who were touched by her for God's glory. In fact, my co-director was being coached by her and her legacy in their lives will go on. So that is another example. Another one is, again, I woke up the first morning of the conference and had vertigo. Mm. I had not had vertigo for 20 years. And so I had to just take it easy that morning. And then things got a little better where I could walk and not fall down. So that was good. And then another speaker at the conference was doing a special message in front of the large group. And all of a sudden, he was experiencing vertigo and had to hold on to the podium. So yes, one after another, there's just all these times where I believe it is spiritual warfare going on. At the conference, we have such great prayer warriors that they are on duty. And I can't help but just glow when I think about how God has worked through the WELL Conference for so many people. And it's always to his glory. And his spirit is so felt there. So you have the victory when the enemy shows up. And I I like the fact that the enemy used the same vertigo trick on the two of you. Is that what you think happens? I do. And it seems like when the attacks start, it means that God's got something really good planned. Oh, I am so glad that you said that. Because (laughs) if I don't have anything really pushing back, I'm wondering if I'm doing the right thing. But then I think we can also ask the Lord, can you protect us? Can you be with us? And I think that can also push the attack back, don't you think? There's many occurrences where as we go into prayer and things just seem to settle down again and it's like pushing back. And I think God wants us to do that. It always seems like God's got us. We're not going to, we're not going to panic when these things happen. We're just going to be calm and know that God has our back. We are sure of that no matter what happens. And the word says not to be ignorant of the enemy schemes. And I think that's what we're actually talking about right now is that when the enemy sees that the Lord is calling you to give a kind word, to do a good deed, to stand up and do even ministry like you do by directing this beautiful conference, the enemy would like to discourage us. He would like to slow us down. He would like to stop us, but we must be aware that these are schemes of the enemy and not the Lord trying to harass us. He isn't testing us, but he is allowing this for some reason for us to grow in trust in him. That's what I think, because that's what's happened for me as I trust him to get us through whatever it is. And he does every single time. So all of this has just made you stronger in the Lord and more determined. I can see it in your face. You're determined to do what God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. It does. When I see those pictures of the armor of God, I definitely can see that on myself and anyone who is a prayer warrior, because each part of that armor is needed. Don't leave home without it. Yeah, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace. Did I miss anything there? The shield of faith. That's it. (laughs) Yeah, the shield of faith. 
I like to think of it like this. So who embodies all of these things? Well, Jesus is our salvation. He gives us the gift of faith. He is our truth. He is our life. I mean, what if I just put on Jesus? This is what Moses prayed to the Lord when he had to lead the people out of Egypt. He said, Lord, I'm not going to lead these people unless you go with me. And I think we can pray that prayer too. God, I'm not going to answer this call that you're giving me unless I am in you and you are in me. Absolutely. I believe that uh, because he has done so many things beyond what I can do in my own strength, that it is so apparent that it's his. And I, yes, I'm not doing anything without him. He's he's in me and he will shine through me. Can you lead us in a prayer that will help people get in Jesus so they will be protected by Jesus himself? I'd love to pray with me. Lord, thank you for what you have done for each one of us. Thank you, Lord, that you give us opportunities to be with you, to build our relationship with you, to gain more understanding of who you are and who we are to you. So Lord, I just pray for all the people out here that they take advantage of those opportunities because they are not a waste of time. It is a time to build our spiritual core, to be able to communicate with you and know that you have our back on it and to know that you always have the answer and that you will protect us. It's all in your name, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to just add a little prayer. And my prayer is, Lord, give us your direction. Lord, give us your sight. Lord, give us your strength. And Lord, give us the way to win every battle and the power of your name. And we thank you that you are with us and going with us to defeat the enemy in every trial that he tries to trip us with. And we pray that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Kathy, do you have one more word to encourage us with? I just want to say that life is a lot more fulfilling and a lot more exciting with Jesus. Mm -hmm. He has your purpose. He will get you there. He will protect you. And it will always be for his glory, but he is always going to lift you up. He won't ever let you drag on the ground. And so keep seeking Jesus. Love that so much. Just wrap yourself in his loving. Go for it. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Well, Kathy, it was so great to have you here today. And thank you so much. How can people contact you? Through the contact form of the well ministry, which is see you at the well dot net. Thank you so much. (laughs) You're welcome. Oh, I hope that blessed you the way it did me. And hey, we hope that if it did, you would like, share, subscribe, ring that bell. And we have a gift for you. It is a beautiful blessing that you can pray, play and print. Just go to myprayergift.com. And remember this, God loves you. And he wants you to talk to him. See you next time.